thing, right? That sounds our MO. We definitely celebrated with wine afterwards. <laughs> mm, mm, plenty of wine. It helps me create. Uh, uh. Awesome. A map. Okay. Uh, we blew up the yeah. Crypt of the Lost. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what would be a good supernatural gift for my character, you think? Uh, I'd have to look at the tab. I went with the one that gave me uh, to where people can't read my thoughts. Oh. Mm. Is this so? I, I see for the lifelong companion, Sam. Those are the guys that are from the magic cards that we have, right? Oh, <laughs> hold on. Adapt. Where's that at? Under supernatural gifts. That's, uh... It's they the dudes. The totally dudes? roommates. Kanias and Tiro. Oh. Yeah, so I guess those are heroes of Theros. Yeah. Neat. We have those car... Uh... Yeah, we got we got them, the gay dudes. <laughs> they were roommates. Let's Just see. like Bert and Ernie. Oh my god, his hand is all up on that guy's neck. Oh man, they they, they hella homo. <laughs> it, it's literally homo. It's in the card description. No, they're just bros. <laughs> it says that they're lovers. No, 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 they're bros. They were roommates. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one's definitely a top bunk and one's definitely a bottom bunk. I, I always thought Bert and Ernie were brothers. Just uh, roommates, man. I hate it when you drink in bed, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> where do you guys uh, I, where do you guys see the um, supernatural gifts at? Uh, um, gifts right underneath heroic drive. Um, There's a bunch of tabs. Oh, here. character like creation. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Uh, supernatural gifts. Lifelong companion. <laughs> I also found out by multi-classing Paladin and Cleric, you don't get extra channel divinities. You just take a dead level. Gotta love it. But I have uh, four different kinds of channel divinity, but I can only cast I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Unscarred. I think Unscarred is a good one. Oh, wait. There's... There's one I took last time. You take damage. When you take damage, you can use reaction roll... To roll a d12, add your constitution modifier to the number mm. rolled, and reduce yeah, yeah. the damage by that total. That's a good one. The one that gives extra health is pretty good. That reduces it. I just took the stat bonus. <laughs> so, uh, I, I... I have, like, little adventures we could run. Oh, he's gone. Who? Lighting up, but I hear nothing. Who's gone? I'm gone. You're gone. Yeah, you're 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 sounding a little metallic-y, my brother. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. You're fixed now. Oh, am I? Yeah. I think I got too close to my mic. Uh. I wanted to try and um let you guys drive the where the game goes a little bit today and if it's like uh doesn't seem to really work then i do have like some other stuff we can do but um uh let's just start you said you guys blew up a, a tome a tomb what uh well actually before you tell me the last um why are you guys grouping together like what is your shared mission currently what are you guys trying to achieve? Uh, well, uh, 
for me personally, as uh, the Minotaur Jr., uh, someone has uh, stolen Dad's Golden Fleece, right? Uh, so I've been tasked as the ambitious brother of uh, the Minotaur family to uh, bring that back. Missing family fleece. Um, yeah. Do you have any idea uh, who may have stolen it? Who is the uh, enemy of your family? Uh, those blasted Argonauts. No, nah, uh, they left a note, some dude named Jason. I don't know who that is. I don't know where they went. But I've got a name. Uh, okay, Minotaur Jr. is after family's missing golden fleece. Uh, yeah, we'll start with personal goals. What is your current personal goal, uh, Annie? For me? Uh, oh, no, Annie. I'm Annie. Are you okay? Um, am I okay? Yes. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are, Annie, are, right. you, Annie are you okay? Thank you. <laughs> you have you been hit? Have you been struck by? Got a, it. Have you been struck by a smooth criminal? Yeah. <laughs> um. So Annie has jumped probably onto this bandwagon because the we'll start with, Junior. We'll start, yeah, let's start with personal goals. Uh, oh, you, yours is goals? related. You you also want the golden fleece? Yes. Uh. Uh, <laughs> If this is related to the iconic Golden Fleece, there's uh, some healing properties of that. Okay. And Annie wait, wants wait. To... Yeah, yeah, uh, we keep that. We keep that under lock and key. We don't like to let out the trade secrets. And Annie definitely will reimburse you for your assistance in this breakthrough. Oh, so you want to learn uh, about its magical properties? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And uh, we want to be able to have herds and grow more of this fleece and make a business. You out want of to it. study the stolen fleece. Yes. Okay, that's cool. Um. And Spiro, uh, what are your current personal goal? Personal goals. My personal goals is just to go along for the journey and hopefully come up with new songs to <laughs> sing. Uh, oh, so you're trying to write a new uh, heroic ballad um, to earn your way into uh, uh, Nyx. Absolutely. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, right. Uh, well, um, a stolen item of legend... Uh, is the perfect place to start. Um, so you're tagging along with these two. So um, you have no leads uh, whatsoever, you think, about the Stolen Fleece? Uh, well, all I know is where where would the Minotaurs be from on this, on this map? Uh, Skophos, way up there. They uh, they took it, and then they went to the sea, went south. That's all we know. They're somewhere along the coast, oh. or I guess they could have they could have ditched the boat and gone somewhere else. But uh, I figured if we just go to all the the big harbor towns on the coast, we'll be able to. Find some leads. Maybe. Or I'll just kind of playing it by ear, you know. I'm not quite familiar with uh, the lands outside of Skophos, but... So where did the three of you uh, meet then? Uh, let's see the town names. <laughs> they don't have to be... Um, oh, so Tessa, of course. There are there are lots of cities. There are lots of little towns and villages that aren't marked on the map. Uh, these are just the main, larger places, uh, um, historical ones. So Tessa uh, would be perhaps difficult to meet the others in because men are not allowed in Tessa. 
It is a I city forget of, that men exist sometimes. It is a what, city what about, of... What about the, the Data Harbor? Is that a town? Yeah, Data Harbor. Uh... You guys could have met there. Uh. Uh, but I, but I think, like maybe you guys have. I'm trying to establish maybe like one or two deeds you guys have already done together. So I'm going back like to you know, imagine you guys were level two. Ah, uh, <laughs> the great many goblins. <laughs> We've slayed. Uh, is there a table we can roll on to see if we killed kobolds, goblins, or <laughs> <laughs> pocket trees? Uh, you could, but we, I guess we don't have to establish it too much. How about we say this? You guys have all managed... You guys have been traveling together for a time, and through your travels, uh, Annie, you've learned that your companion here, uh, Mr. Minotaur Jr., is um, searching for his family's uh, lost golden fleece. Uh, <clears throat> you're not necessarily sure if this is the golden fleece of legends, but it sounds interesting enough for you to tag along with him. And the two of you met Spiro along the way uh and he has provided you all with stories and song as you've been searching for this lost golden fleece uh <clears throat> the three of you together um have now ended up uh your your trail has gone cold uh this person you're seeking mr minotaur jr uh we're going to say that they are a leonin uh, you at least know that it was a Leonin, uh, a, a, a band of three Leonins, actually, that broke into your family's home in Scophos and stole your father's fleece. Uh, uh, them cats are, have always been fond of fleece, <laughs> you've balls been, of yarn. You've been uh, tracking the Leonin as best you can, and the three of you have now ended up in a coastal town uh, called Coral Haven. That is a sort of a quaint fishing village nestled along the, the rugged coastlines here of the Siren Sea. The village is surrounded uh, by towering cliffs on one side, uh, to the north of you, you know, uh, on the Scophos side. And uh, there are stretches of sandy beaches uh, along the borders to the south. Um, uh, and, you know, there are these breathtaking views of the endless ocean beyond. Uh, the village's buildings are constructed from weathered wood and colorful coral, uh, sort of blending harmoniously with the natural beauty of the coastline. Um, when you arrive in town, you notice that the population is, uh, is majority human, um, hardy fishermen and traders. Uh, who have built their livelihoods around the bounty of the sea. But there are a few half-elves and merfolk uh, meandering about. Um, the merfolk don't live in Coral Haven, but they occasionally visit trading exotic sea treasures and sharing the stories of the depths with the villagers. Uh, there are a few points of interest here in Coral Haven. The Fisherman's Wharf... Uh, is the bustling dock at the heart of Coral Haven where the fishermen unload their daily catches and the merchants trade goods with uh, the distant lands um, of incoming sailors. Uh, there is a cozy little tavern called the Salty Seahorse Inn um, near the waterfront. Uh, they offer warm beds, hearty meals, and uh, their resident bard has gone missing. It might be an opportunity for uh, you, Spyro, to provide some lively entertainment. Um, uh, there's a little marketplace called the Coral Cove Market, uh, where the people of the town here uh, trade. And um, there is a little shrine, uh, a seafoam shrine, perched atop a rocky outcrop overlooking the ocean, uh, dedicated, of course, to um, the... 
uh, Vasa, god of the sea. Um, and there is a lighthouse, uh, this sort of sentinel at the edge of the village, guiding ships safely through treacherous waters. Um, the, uh, the lighthouse also has a shrine um, out in front of it, uh, dedicated to uh, Keranos, the god of the storms. Uh, and that is where you currently are. Mm. Uh, guess I wanna, I guess, search the harbors. Start talking to sailors, see if they've seen any lion in or whatever. They're called lion in, right? Leonins? Yeah. Leonins. Yep. Uh, oh, and, I, think uh... it, I think it's, I think it's best if we start with the sailors down at the docks. Sailors. I remember... Sailors are always a good place to check to for ailing people. That, oh, yes, and information, yes. Because they were sailors, and it just makes sense that they would be at the docks. Or at least if they were here, someone would have seen them. Maybe I will add uh, new places that you guys travel to and discover to the map here as we play. What 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 was the one we were looking for? The All of those... The Leonin sometimes all look kind of the same. Mm. That's, That's kind a... of racist. <laughs> That's a very ignorant statement. That's like saying all Minotaur are the same. Well, kind of, yes. The fact that you hesitated before you said that <laughs> makes me just as much, if not more, concerned by what you just said here. <laughs> I'm going to choose to ignore that. <laughs> the docks then, I guess, right? Yeah, you, you want to head down to the Fisherman's Wharf? Yes. Lead the way, boss. Ah, yes. I know exactly how to get there. I'm good with directions. <laughs> well, At least I always know where north is. You know, some of these places are, uh, are are being generated uh, on, the, on the fly here, so I don't necessarily have maps and all those things prepared. We're going to do a lot of theater of the mind here in Theros. Ah, uh, the docks uh, yeah. look great. I can <laughs> smell the salt on the air. These are the best docks I've seen. Um, you do see uh, down at the Fisherman's Wharf, uh, as you head down that way, um, colorful sails flutter in the sea breeze as fishing boats come and go. Uh, you know, the air is indeed filled with the scent of salt water and fresh fish. Um, you head down to the docks and you start asking around... Uh, about any. I, I, I want to find the biggest sailor on the dock. Uh, yeah, you find a, a strapping young lad, um, you know, dressed in a uh, uh, fisherman's attire, uh, heavy canvas clothing, um, big knee hide rubber boots, uh, and uh, they are. Uh, currently um unloading a big uh, net full of fish off of a long slender sailing vessel uh with the, their uh, rest of his crew a bunch of young lads um you approach and uh they don't really pay you any mind you know it's pretty busy down here at the docks but if you call out to them uh they stop and it's, give you their attention excuse me young man May I beseech your ear? Uh, the boy, uh, um, you know, even though he's so big and broad, when he turns to look up at you, uh, his, uh, his young features sort of betray his uh, large stature. Uh, and uh, he has sort of a boyish voice as well. He says, um, uh, of course, Master Minotaur. Uh, how can I help you this fine morning? Ah, uh, yes. The reason... We've come down to these docks. We're looking for information. Something was stolen from my family. We're looking for lion and uh, leonin folk. Have you seen any of those cat people around? Oh, as a matter of fact, um, not but a day ago, a, a trio of leonin passed here through town, and um, they bought a small fishing vessel from 
old George and uh, um, they had a few drinks, I believe, at at the uh, at the Seahorse Inn, and and then they made their way um, out into the Siren Sea. They mm, sailed. You... They sailed south, if I remember correctly. Do you remember where they did? They say where they were going. Oh, I didn't speak to the, to the fellas. Um, but mm. uh, somebody at the inn might have heard something. Alrighty, I do appreciate the help, young man. Uh, he says, um, uh, glad to be of help to you, sir. And uh, he goes back to unloading the fish with his companions. I turn back to Annie and... Is it Spiro or is it Spyro? It's Spyro. <laughs> mm. Master Spyro and Lady Annie. This young man has informed me that the... Gentlemen that we are after may have sailed south, but that we may be able to acquire more information at the Seahorse Inn. Is that so? Well, we were right here. We kind of heard. Well, <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were listening or if you were... <laughs> Regardless... Honestly, I was feeding the seagulls. <laughs> there you go, my point taken. Regardless, our next destination should be the Seahorse Inn. Let's any, go. Any of... All right. Yes. Watch I your step. There's a lot I, of I believe the Seahorse Inn is north of here. Yeah, just give me a sec. I think I've been there. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> um, so, Mr. Minotaur, Junior. Junior? Junior. The Minotaur, uh, Junior, yes. Uh, what's what's the significance of your of this police? Tell me more about it. You haven't really told me its uh, its history. Mm -hmm. That's uh, not really for me to say. That's a uh, closely closely guarded family secret. But do say. <laughs> well, what I can say is very important to my family. Uh... Perhaps if we we're able to return it, my father may be inclined to tell you more. Can't promise anything about that, but uh, you can always ask. I I have asked. <laughs> no, ask him, <laughs> not I. <laughs> oh, so close with your words, so guarded, Mr. Minotaur. Mm. It is the Minotaur way. We often speak in confusing and labyrinthian ways. Mm. Probably from the fact that we live in labyrinths. I'll solve that maze of your mind yet. You'll you'll let something slip. I'm mm. waiting. I'm mm. patient. Perhaps. Melt the walls with venom. <laughs> uh they're they're magically imbued. Venom oh, will yeah. not melt them. Oh yes, I I may use magic. Nothing is off limits. Oh, mm. interesting. I will make a mental note of our conversation today. <laughs> I now have concerns. Snakes are not to be trusted. Snakes only act of their nature, Spyro. Um. There's no good or bad. They just act according to their nature. And if you know their nature, you'll never be surprised. You were leading the way, Mr. Minotaur? Yes, this way. Thank God these docks are built strong. Jesus. <laughs> um, 
you guys make your way to the uh, the uh, Salty Seahorse Inn. It's not too far from the docks. Um, you see uh, when you enter, um, being the morning, uh, there aren't currently too many patrons. Uh, but you do see a jovial-looking uh, dwarf uh, behind the bar cleaning some glasses, uh, as bartenders do. Um, he kind of uh, looks up from his work when he sees the three of you enter. <clears throat> and uh, he kind of waves at you all and he says, Oh, welcome to the Salty Seahorse Inn. Come, there's plenty of tables open. Can I get you something to eat this morning? Uh, yes. I would like your finest house salad. Do you have any uncooked eggs? <clears throat> Is there a stage I could play my loot at? Uh, you do see a stage at the corner of the, um, of the corner of the inn. Uh, uh, the dwarf says, um, Oh, some entertainment would be lovely. Usually, uh, someone plays when there's more patrons around, uh, in the evenings, but, um, uh, the traveling minstrel that was visiting us, uh, left just this morning. The fortune you feel a tap on your shoulder, uh, on your shoulder, Spyro, that feels like a snake bite. <laughs> uh, but, if you need to warm your fingers, you're more than welcome to take the stage. Thank um, you kindly. And, uh, the, um, dwarf says, uh, <clears throat> would you like some, uh, fish in your salad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Big fella like you needs his protein, you know. I do like fish. And how many raw eggs would you like, miss? Um... Well, uh, we might be traveling later. Only three. Mm. Keep it light. And can I offer you any libation? Ale. A flagon of it. Um, none for me. Uh, the dwarf comes. Um, there are a few uh, like older-looking fish fishermen-looking fellas, weathered gents uh at a table um playing a a, a little uh, game of like checkers you know uh a few moments later uh the um dwarf comes back with a few eggs uh a few raw eggs uh, just laid this morning madam here you go and for you Big Sir, uh, he sets down a big bowl of uh, luscious greens. Um, there's like a simple vinegar dressing on it and uh, 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 almost a uh, half of a full salmon on t laid out on top of, uh, of the lettuce. Mm. Uh, fresh caught this morning as well. Everything's always fresh caught here. In my head, I'm thinking, where did he get salmon so close to the sea? Where's the closest freshwater river? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess it would be a. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's a. The, uh, uh, yeah, insight. <laughs> In I want to do an insight roll on that fresh <laughs> caught. I'm not as familiar with the the. What is it? Sturgeon. Sturgeon. <laughs> Uh, I mean, maybe tuna this close to the sea. Sturgeon's a freshwater fish that, as well. I'm not familiar. Yeah. yeah, tuna, I guess. And I only know all this because I've played many hours of Stardew Valley. Sturgeon, <laughs> st sturgeon's found in the mountain lake. Uh, it's, tuna, tuna it's, it is. Uh, it's, it's actually... Uh, What is it? Um, swordfish. Oh, nice. Uh, I I have a uh, a, a, a question. Just uh, so it says my arcane focus is like my uh, 
one of my artisan's tools. Since I have a light hammer as one of my weapons, can I consider that as part of my uh, some of my tools? Yeah, like smiths or metalworking tools? For sure. I, ma I imagine there's a hammer somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, while that, whenever the bartender comes back over with the food, uh, I want to ask him about the, the the kitties, Mister Mister Bartender. Uh, he says we got uh, a word. Uh, you can call me Barnabas. Barnabas, it's a pleasure. My name is the Minotaur Junior, son of the Minotaur. <laughs> Even though Master of the maze. Even though we're so close, it's been some time since the Minotaurs wandered down from Skophos. How are things up there in the mountains? Uh, well, I would say they're a little bit more chaotic than normal. Uh, you see, our prized and precious golden fleece has been removed and stolen. Uh, that's the reason I've come so far south. We're we're seeking we're seeking the uh, the thieves. We received word from one man, a young gentleman down at the docks, that some uh, Leonin folk have come this way and may have fancied you're in here. Is this true? I last night there were a few Leonin uh, that spent some time here. Perchance, did you overhear of their their travel plans and where they were planning on going? Well, they did keep themselves. Uh, they did keep to themselves off in the corner of the bar, talked quite low, you know. But these ears of mine, they could hear from a mile away. Um, never liked Leonin much. I never trust those that don't give penance to the gods, you know. Um, uh. I did happen to overhear them saying they were sailing down uh, to Melitus. Long journey for the little ship that they purchased, though. I uh, I take out my hammer and I uh, tap the table, and I'm gonna use my uh, magical tinkering and create a picture of the world map. Uh. Mr. Barnabas, would you be able to point out on this map I have created here where that city is you said they were going? I'm not quite familiar with the geography in this area. Uh, yeah, as the uh, the map uh, springs up, the image uh, of it, uh, he um, his eyes kind of go bright. He says... Oh, that's a neat trick you got there. Um, he uh, points down at the uh, tail end of uh, the coastline. Um, says, uh, I guess um, Melitus would be down right about here. And uh, he points down. Good Mr. Barnabas. Good 150 miles. Would it be impossible to make it by land? How how long would it take to make it by land? Oh, uh, not impossible, no. Uh, but I imagine it'd take you a fair bit of time. Much slower than traveling by sea. Mm. Hmm. Do we have... Do we have... Spyro, did we, do we have a boat? How Have we just been trekking along? Maybe someone would be... How often do trade ships go down south to Melitus? Oh, quite often enough. Um... Uh, maybe... A vessel large enough to sail that far stops here in Coral Haven once a week or so. So there might be a chance we might be able to hitch a ride, you might think? Well, let me see. The last time I seen a big trade ship was probably two, three days ago. Always good for business. Uh, so I suppose it might be a few days yet till another one arrives. 
Mm. What does the bar... Is there a lot of people in the bar? Is there anyone who looks like they've had too many? Uh, there are a couple, just a couple older uh, fishermen who are uh, just playing a game of uh, checkers off in the corner. Otherwise, you know, being kind of the early morning, most people are out uh, fishing and doing, you know, their uh, errands and stuff like that. Okay. Annie has like a gig she kind of does at bars when they've had too many that she'll kind of lay on hands and help them get back up and either start drinking more or like be able to go. So that's kind of what she has in mind. She's kind of scoping out to see if she can make a little bit of money before we're on our way again. Sorry, say the last part. Um, She's just trying to see if she can make a little bit of money by like, curing the poison or disease on the drunken people oh i got so they can drink again or like they can you know go for the day it's uh that's just kind of her mindset yeah yeah you'd have to probably uh come back at night when people are drinking yeah there's no sad people here during the day nope not in uh not in coral haven not many sad people Apparently, this town's people has their shit together on yeah. Florida. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people here have purpose, yeah, in Coral Haven. No. <laughs> all, of the, all the people in Satessa were always so sad. Um, if you were looking to kill some time, though, uh, I hear it of some townsfolk uh, speaking of a shipwreck just down off the coast uh seems uh folk are saying that it's a uh, crowded or shrouded in an eerie mist and something about the ship is rumored to be cursed mm, a you cursed could, uh, ship you say you could check that out if you're Trying to pass the time while you wait for a new trade ship to come into port. A seaworthy ship? Um, you're, you're, um, a ship's just out there, just doing ship things? No, some of the fishermen have reported they've seen uh, a, a shipwreck down off the coast, south of town. Oh. But they say that the, the wreck's shrouded in an eerie mist. They believe it's cursed. Well, Well, I walk a straight and narrow path of uh, Farica, so I should be fine. Um, What do you think? Boys? Boys? What do you think? I'm protected. I don't know about you. Well, if it's a boat, that'll get us south. I'm willing to investigate. Who did you hear this from, uh, sir? Uh, Just fishermen and sailors in the tavern. Oh, circles. Back to the pier. (laughs) Byro finishes his set and puts his loot away and walks back over. Oh, yeah, I gotta unhinge my jaws and swallow those eggs. (laughs) And that's why we call you the Gulp Gulp 9000. No one calls me that, Spyro. I think you Not call to me your that. Face. <laughs> this mask is merely ornamental, but I'm glad I have it on for that. Um, well, I guess we're going while back. I was playing. There's, um,. A, a haunted ship on the ocean, and uh, we got to go back to the the pier, maybe. And uh, I don't know. We, this seems like we we uh, could go on our way, on our lead, or we could go look at this, maybe. Well, he's saying that um, some of the local fishermen have spotted a ghostly-looking shipwreck that has appeared off of the coast 
a, a bit to the south of Coral Haven, and uh, the the shipwreck uh, seems to be shrouded in some kind of eerie mist. And the fishermen are saying that it's must be cursed. There could be Leonin on the haunted ship, right? They're they're godless people. Mm. Mm. I mean, he said three Leonins already left, though, didn't he? If you're uh, in a rush, um, I'd say if you didn't want to wait for a trade ship, you would probably be best to just begin your journey over land. I'd say if you travel unhindered, you could make it to Miletus in perhaps a week's time. Question, however, didn't you say that the ship that they took was small? I'm guessing the ghost ship would be larger. So if we were able to get this ghost ship for ourselves, we'd be able to catch up to them faster. I think we should get the ghost ship. I want the ghost well, ship. <laughs> I, I like the idea as well. Um, they did say it is a shipwreck. Indeed. Yeah, but if it's a ghost ship, then uh, it can fly. Uh, mm. Because ghosts can fly. Junior, I don't want to, you know, be a wet blanket to your uh, studious claim. Um, mm. Perhaps it uh, more flies underwater being a shipwreck. Mm. So it's like a submarine. Um... Yes, uh, a real apparatus of quash. Yes, uh, I've seen I've seen schematics of these ships. I didn't <laughs> know that they were real. Intelligence of my dump stat. I don't know what's wrong with it, our Minotaur. <laughs> it it does seem we're in agreement, though, um, that we'd like to at least check it out. Um, I, I think we're all. I think we're agreeing with each other. Is that is that what I'm getting? We're agreeing. Yes. Absolutely. I'm down. I can't wait to write a ballad about a ghost ship. <laughs> um. Well. Um. Thank you for the eggs, sir. Um. How much uh, do? How many? How many coins does it have to be? Uh. That'll be um. Two silver in total for your breakfast. Um, you you heard him, Junior. I'm um, too silver. Mm. Uh, I only have gold. Would one gold cover it? Uh, I think that I think the math changed. Uh, what's the conversion rate down here? It has been so long since I've paid anything other than gold. He um mm. he can uh he takes your gold coin and gives you back eight silver coins. That sounds about right. Thank you, Mr. Minotaur, for treating us to a wonderful lunch. Mm. I hope you absolutely. Uh, I hope you find the fellas you're looking for. I, always... I as well. <clears throat> Did you mention to him? You didn't say anything about why you were looking for them, I guess, huh? I told him about my thread, the fleece. Oh yeah, yeah. He says um. I always hate to hear about any wrongdoing. It's, uh, typical Leonin to be taking things that don't belong to them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Those dirty cats. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> um, well, uh, boys, let's go back to the docks. Uh, maybe uh, since we have better questions maybe we'll get better answers now all right to the wait is that where the haunted uh the ghost ship is at the docks no the it's uh down the coastline some like we had uh, to, we don't know where the ghost ship is they just said they heard it from some, somebody that there some, is a ghost ship. some fishermen have been talking about it you know at night time in the tavern that down along the coast to the south, uh, they there's been a shipwreck spotted, but the wreck is the wreckage is covered in this um, 
this sort of uh, eerie mist, and so all the all the fishermen believe that it's cursed, and uh, nobody wants to go near it. Normally, a shipwreck would be like scavenged, you know. Got but, you. But got this, you. This this ghostly or this uh, this eerie mist that's surrounding the the wreckage is keeping the uh, the fishermen away. All right, we start at the docks. I take my hammer and I double tap the the table again, and the image of the map goes away. Nice. The docks. <laughs> um. Yeah, you guys can head back to the docks if you want. You can probably rent like a little boat or something. I don't. I don't think we have enough money to rent a boat. Uh. Okay. Um, we probably have enough power to steal one, though. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys want to do? Um, I guess you can talk about it while you're in the inn still. Uh, you could investigate the ship wreck, or you could just, uh, or you could wait for a trade ship for a few days and see if anything else happens in town, or you could uh, just get to land traveling. Hmm. Um, let's uh, go to the docks and see. So, are the docks like where fishermen are? Is that where coming and going ships would be? Yeah. Uh, let's uh, talk to some people and see if we can maybe perceive or hear over here what we're looking for. Maybe like we want to know more about the ghost ship like how far down the coast we need to go oh I sure think. uh yeah you can just make an investigation check yeah i'd say you can make it with advantage because there's enough gossip in the town about this wreckage um you you guys find out by um uh talking to a few more fellas actually uh at, once the um once barnabas mentions the 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 wreck uh the two old fishers that were playing checkers they tell you a little bit more about it they say that the rumor is about three or four miles down the coastline uh a ship has actually crashed into uh, uh into the coastline itself uh near a large bird's nest uh that has sort of been built in some high rocks near the wreck itself um there is like a strange mist that clings to the area around the wreckage um it's hard to miss the mist kind of uh coalesces around the rocks and where the ship crashed into the uh um coastline uh and just above the mist, you can see the bird's nest coming up, out, uh, cu uh, like settled in the rocks above. Hmm. Shall we, gentlemen? I'll take your silence as a yes. <laughs> My great enemies, birds. Are birds your enemies? Of course. Snakes? Oh, yeah, right. Snake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot you're a snake lady. I don't even know what's underneath that dress. <laughs> <laughs> we, no one knows what's underneath that dress. Any condor wraps. <laughs> I just read your full name for the first time. I just oh my god. Anything. Anyways, <laughs> that's why he said from the from the outside of the boat, from what we're seeing from the outside of this ship, how damaged is it looking? Uh, well, you guys are on your way traveling there. Yes. Okay. Um... Let me load up some incense in my staff. Keep it burning. <laughs> Why don't Not you, magical. Why don't, why don't, All completely uh, manual. <laughs> while, while you while you guys travel the three or four miles along the coastline, um, why don't one of you give me a a survival check to see if you have any random encounters? Oh. Oh, 
no. It's up to me. It's up to me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, At least it was higher than ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys have a decent average. Um, you guys uh, travel along the coastline, and uh, after if you're a... careful, you'll never run into anything interesting, Spyro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, after what about an hour maybe hour and a half um you guys one two three sorry i'm building as we go here one two three is that too stretched maybe one two three four five six um oh i see why After about an hour and a half traveling down along the coastline, you know, watching the sea come in and out, you can see as you move away from uh, the town, um, you know, out at sea, the, the colorful sails of their vessels as the sea um, sort of crashes up against the varying levels of, uh, of the coast. As you travel south, um, you do eventually come to the rumored wreckage. Uh, let's see. Why? Oh, here we go. Oh, that's kind of a little dingy there. Ship was maybe a little bit of a jump. Well, Part of the ship is there, and part of the ship is there. <laughs> you do see up in the rocks, well, as you kind of get up on this ledge here, you can see the ship itself um, caught up in, in the rocks and stuff. Uh, it is, this whole area is shrouded in a, in a gray mist. Uh, it is kind of heavy and thick and obscures your vision. You can just make out the uh, pieces of ship uh, that are caught up in the rocks there. Um, the mast is uh, splintered, and um, you can see the the front and rear of the ship kind of heaving uh, in the waters. Um, you do see the large nest above the mist nestled in the rocks uh, that appears to be empty currently as far as you can tell no large buzzards mm. looks very much like it how fast do you think it flies junior mm. well based on the size of the nest I imagine the bird that created this creature is quite large. <laughs> the, uh, boat, wings... the boat, Junior, the boat. <laughs> oh, the boat. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. How fast did the boat go? <laughs> how, fa how fast do you think it flies? Well, considering it's in two pieces, I don't think it's flying very far. You gauge by, the, ra you gauge by the wreckage um, that the boat, when it was... Uh, hole was probably about 60 feet long um, and uh, 30 feet wide a decent sized vessel well I guess we can always search for scraps I imagine there might be some useful objects maybe on this ship can I make a nature check or something about the nest? Oh, did I put you guys on the map layer? Oh, I see. I couldn't move the other token, so I made another one. Yeah, I put you guys on the wrong layer. In the ghost layer. We're the ones who are haunted. We're haunting the boat. 
Oh, we can move each other's tokens. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, I can fix that. <laughs> I put Sam in the sea. No. Snake can swim. You'll be all right. Only one snake can swim. I don't belong in there. So where's the nest? Is it on the map? It's the giant thing to the top left. Oh, I, my map's not stretched out enough. I can't see it yet. Oh, I see now. Yeah, can I uh, make some kind of nature check? Sure. Do I know this beast? You can make a nature check, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to fix your character sheets real quick. So you can't move each other's tokens or fuck with each other's sheets. All right, there we go. Uh, what was your nature check? Oh, 21. Uh, 21. Um, it is a very large nest. You know of a few types of birds um, that... could need a home so large. Um, you believe that this nest probably belongs to a rock. Mm, not a snake. <laughs> Time to burn this nest. I mean, does it? Uh, would I think that a nest as big would have, like it would, it means it's, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, it means like it's currently being used like, because it has to be maintained kind of thing. Judging from the... Um, with your 21 nature, you can tell that likely something is... The nest is seems like it's well-kept, maintained. Uh, it is likely that the... Uh, um, uh, but, but hold oh. on. Maybe I'll... Uh, let me... Uh, I can see the bird. No, I, I know. <laughs> I'm just... It wouldn't let me uh, see its... Oh, here we go. Oh, that's tiny. Not the size, it's how you use it. <laughs> <laughs> uh... um, boys, I know you have eyes, um, but that nest over there belongs to a bird. Not in... It's a very big bird, and it's currently... It's been here recently. I believe a, a rock may be nesting in this, in between the rocks over there. Um, with, a rock the, among rocks. The size of the nest, um, uh, you believe, uh, Annie, um, that the, the rock is maybe a younger rock, uh, a, a fully grown rock. Its nest would be maybe two to three times that size. Oh, I'm not telling the boys that. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, the kind of bird that grabs the, uh, the, uh, like it. Have you heard of an elephant? Mm. Yes. Those big behemoth of animals, the elephants, and just eat them like a grape. I do quite enjoy grapes. I think we should be careful. You know, I'm protected divinely, but uh, you should be extra careful. I can start building my cannon. You want me to start building a cannon? <laughs> um, if you I'm think gonna, it would be I'm, helpful. I'm, I'm just going to start building my cannon. Building a cannon? Yes. I guess I yes. You just take a few. You just take a few rocks here, uh, and you start beating them with a hammer, and you form a cannon. How oh, is it that easy? Well, a little bit of magic. Um. Okay. Uh, I guess we should be careful. Um, let's let's go see if there's anything other than. A wreckage here. Let's take a look around. 
Uh, yeah, you guys can make some investigation checks to investigate the wreckage. Yes. Let's see here. <laughs> Well, should I make my cannon or should uh uh I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some time making my cannon here. You guys go down in and check the wreckage. I'll do the I I did okay okay uh Junior you you build your cannon you bang the rocks and uh, I'll I'll use my my eyes I'll go look around. Um, eighteen investigation. And uh, I guess I'll put myself out there in the open. <laughs> uh, Don't worry about it. You head down to the shoreline to investigate the wreckage more closely. And it was hard to tell because of the mists. But when you get closer to the shipwreck... You can actually see um, some bodies uh, floating in the water. Um, oh. There's maybe half a dozen that you can spot um, bobbing as the waves come in and out. Uh, you also see something near the front of the wreckage, the front part of the ship that's um, coming up out near the coastline of, of the waters there is a black iron chest uh, um, that seems to be anchored to the deck of the ship uh, the, the chest uh, looks like it is um, sort of rimmed in gold edges And uh, as the water is churning, it churns one of the bodies in the water over. And you can see that the dead in the water that gets turned over by the waves uh, is wearing a golden mask. Oh, I was about to... I was going to try to do something clerical to put gold on their eyes or something. <laughs> That's not good. Uh... Yeah, okay. I'll turn over a body, right? And that's a gold mask. Uh-huh. Uh, could, uh... So that means they've been put to rest, right? Uh, you could make a religion check. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, you recognize this golden masked creature um, as something known as a returned uh, mm. souls who have managed somehow to escape from the underworld. And uh, as you examine the body more closely, um, you're probably actually like down here. Sure, I'm, put me put me in the I'm, thick of it. I'm following you now. I've built my cannon, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see. The one that uh, turned over with the waters is here. Um, but there are a few more kind of drifting out in the sea. What did I say? Ah. Half a dozen? Yeah, because they need tokens to be dead bodies, yes. <laughs> Slow down, it's wet. My hoofs don't go very well on wet surfaces. <laughs> uh, how far can your cannon shoot there, Minotaur? You could have built it closer if you wanted. No, I can shoot up to 120 feet. Oh, can you? Okay. Um, All right, that's why I was measuring earlier. Annie, they can hit anything on this map. Annie, uh, as you, you okay? 
sort of kneel down to inspect this body and the water turns it over uh you see its golden mask and uh as you sort of recognize what this might be its arm shoots up and grabs your neck uh why don't you all select your token and roll initiative yay oh. But I have to stay within 60 feet of it to uh, fire it. So I'm hey. good now. I'm living off of luck here. Plus zero to the roll. Um, initiative. Um, here I have you select. Are the, uh, the returned famously immune to poison? Uh, You'll find out, I guess. That's something you can find out if you do damage to them with poison. Ah, level five. Haven't learned a thing. <laughs> well, um, make an insight check, I guess. <laughs> That's a good. Point. <laughs> uh, yeah, you believe that these are um, undead and immune to poison. God damn it. Uh, let me see here. I will... Uh... Be right back real quick. If you got to use the restroom or anything, go, what, go ahead and... Uh, or, or grab a drink or whatever. I'll be back in like 30, 30 seconds, yeah. 30 seconds I'm a minute. I'm going to grab a water. Yeah, sounds good. 